Okay, now let's try to find out the working of L call, A call, and return instruction in L05 or microcontroller. A call is nothing but absolute call, which is a two byte instruction. A call can be used to call subroutine located within a 2048 address space of L05. L call is a long call, which is a three byte instruction. Use can be used to call a subroutine anywhere within a 65536 address space of L05. Fiber microcontroller. Okay, let's try to understand the working of a call instruction. Suppose this is the assembly language instruction, which is present from memory location 0400H onwards. That means move th0 comma hash 0eeh. These particular instructions of code. Will get stored to location zero four zero four H, and the operand, that is the data on which it has to operate, that is zero E E H, will get stored to location zero four zero five H. The PC is the program pointer, which point to the address of ROM memory. Suppose it is pointing to the this address zero four zero eight H. At this address, the a call delay instruction is present. So when a call delay this instruction get executed, the address of next memory location zero four zero a h, which is called the return address, this address gets stored into the stack memory. Stack memory is a memory present in RAM. By default, stack pointer is pointed to 007H location, and whenever it wa we want to write some data to stack memory, the stack pointer first get incremented by one. So now the stack pointer is get incremented by one, and the 0AH, the lower 8 bit of address, gets stored into 08 location, and the higher 8 bit. Of address gets stored into zero nine H location. So this is how we stored the return address because the a call instruction is like a function. It calls a delay. Delay is a subroutine. Subroutine is nothing but the bunch of instructions written to perform the repetitive task. Right. So whenever the subroutine get completely executed, we have to come back to the main code. So We have to store the return address. So this return address we have stored into stack memory. Then the program counter will get transferred from zero four zero eight location to the address of subroutine. It will perform the subroutine or the instructions present in a subroutine. And when the return instruction get executed, return instruction is nothing but fetching operation. To pop up the data present on stack memory back to the program counter. So when it pop the content from stack memory to the program counter, program counter will point to the address location, return address location, and it will execute the remaining instruction in main code. So this is how a call instruction work. The similar working is true for L call instruction also. Jump instruction. Jump instruction is like go to instruction in a C language. Whenever the jump instruction get executed, the content of register program counter will get changed. Based on again the range, how long you can jump. There are three different instruction in eight zero five one. L jump stand for long jump. S jump stand for short jump. A jump stand for absolute jump. L jump. Using L jump instruction, you can jump anywhere within a sixty four kilobyte address space of eight zero five one. Using L jump instruction up to one twenty eight byte, and using absolute jump instruction. To the two zero four eight byte locations, you can jump. Whenever you want 
to know more about the working of instructions of Eddie Zero Five on microcontroller. The best way is to use Kyle software. What you have to do is you have to go to help the new region help contain Eddie Zero Five on instruction set and instructions. Suppose I want to know about the decrement and jump not zero instruction working. You have to simply click on that instruction. And you will get in detail about that uh, all detail about the instruction. So here it is given that decrement jump not instruction DJ NZ instruction decrement the byte indicated by the first op front and if the resulting value is not zero, then branch to the address specified by the second. Opera. So whenever this instruction get executed here, R n is nothing but any register from R zero to R seven. So decrement jump not zero. Decrement the content of R n by one. If it is not zero, then jump. If it is zero, simply the condition will become false. Right. So this is how you can also find out the working of any instruction.